Hello, my name is Jacob and I'm a member of the New England Catholic Student Association and this is The Saints and Their Stories. St. Ignatius of Loyola was born in Nigo Lopez into a large, lower-class noble family in Loyola, Spain in the late 1500s. Losing his mother at the young age of seven, his family life was difficult and was raised in part by the wife of a blacksmith. However, he made an impact in his society by becoming involved in his local government and eventually becoming a soldier. Now referring to himself as Ignatius to emphasize his regal position, he developed a reputation for successfully leaving a battle unscarred. His prestige even granted him his own troops. Unfortunately, in 1521, he was severely wounded in his legs by a cannonball. Although he was expected to die, he began healing on June 29th, the feast day of St. Peter and St. Paul. He was left with one leg but fully recovered. During his recovery, all he was able to do to pass the time was read the lives of Jesus and the saints. De Vita Christi, or the life of Christ, encouraged him to devote his life to God and he began desiring to convert non-Christians into the way of God. Almost a year after his injury, Ignatius entered a Benedictine monastery and gave up his clothing, fully giving himself to service. He worked at a hospital, begged for food, and spent much time meditating in a nearby cave. Here, he prayed about what would eventually become the spiritual exercises, a compilation of meditations, prayers, and contemplative practices to help people deepen their relationship with God. Ignatius then decided an education was the best way he could serve others. He spent the following years of his life learning language and theology so he could better his future converts. He made friends in his mid-forties that also wanted to preach and visit the Holy Land, and together, the three of them made up the Friends in the Lord. These men petitioned Pope Paul III to allow them to serve him, and the Pope made them into an official order. Then were referred to as the Society of Jesus, and the order increased in size with Ignatius as their leader. The men in the group, called the Jesuits, built 35 schools during the life of Ignatius and used reason for conversion. After his death in 1556, he was canonized on March 12, 1622. St. Ignatius of Loyola, patron of the Society of Jesus, of education, and of soldiers, pray for us.